Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peterisms, where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I have learned as I have grown into the person that I am today. And I am having a fantastic day. How are you? Are you guys having a good day? I have several meditation books to uh, choose from to read here in just a second, but before I do, I want to talk about and do kind of like a daily update on the magic. So I don't know that I'm going to make a video every day on this channel for the next 28 days, but the days that I do, which will probably be almost every day, um, I will do a little bit of an update on the magic and where I'm at with it. And please feel free to leave in the comment section where you guys are at with it if you're doing it. Um, <clears throat> And if I share about the exercises and you're not doing the magic, feel free to just borrow those exercises. They're from Rhonda Byrne. Um, and yeah, I'm just really, really enjoying this book so far. I kind of like forgot what it was like doing all of this action, like doing all this action, putting all of this action into gratitude. You know, like I said, there was like a year that I did like, a, like six months or a year. I don't know how long it was, but I did like a written gratitude list. And then... Um, Every night before I went to bed and every morning when I got up, I would do this gratitude list. And then I just kind of stopped doing it over time. I talked about it on my vlog. And, um, you know, getting up and doing the gratitude list the last two days has just been amazing. And it's really, really helped. So uh, let me just show you what I got. So I got this little, this is, I have to have notebooks for everything. So I got um, this notebook to do the magic in. And at the beginning of it, I have like all of my major manifestations and dreams. Now I haven't gone through, and this is just what it suggests in the book. I haven't gone through yet and written down any of these things. So I have them all little like key tab down here. <laughs> People don't think I'm really that organized, but I really am that organized. It's kind of crazy. And then health and body, which it recommends in the book, all of these. Um, and then career and work. And then uh, relationships, and then personal desires, and then material things. And that's what it recommends in the book to go through and tab all those out. But then I went to the next section, because I wanted to have like a section, you know? And this is where I started my daily gratitude list. And so you can see that yesterday I did that and I put day one underneath there, and then today I did it as well. And then I went through and I read them out loud and I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today is day two in the magic book and it is talking about the magic rock. And basically the idea of the magic rock, um, and I actually looked upstairs because for the longest time I had my magic rock still next to my bed and it's not up there. I don't know where I put it. Um, I think I put it in like this, um, uh, I have this box in my closet where I keep like special jewelry and things like that. And, um, just little notes of reminders. Do you guys have like a special box like that? I actually think I put it in there. So if I did, I'll pull it out. It's just a very simple stone that I got from like Lake Michigan or somewhere. But next to my bed, I do have a shell. Um, and it's, but it's not smooth. Keeping this, it, she talks in the book about how it should be something smooth and something that you can like hold on to and whatever. So the idea is at the end of the day, you hold on to this rock and you go through all of like the best moments of your day, all the good moments, and then you pick like the very best moment. Well, on top of it, like making you go through and be grateful for all of these grateful, and then you're supposed to say thank you for that greatest moment, right? But not only are you going through all of these really great moments of the day and being grateful for them, but you're going through all of these really great moments of the day. So instead of ending your day on negativity, anguish, and despair, you know, and anxiety and sitting there thinking about the next day and like plotting and planning and scripting and note taking about the next day. Cause like back in the day for me, I would sit there and my wheels would just turn about the next day. Well, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And I've got to do this and blah, 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 you know? And, um, it's just, it was completely unnecessary and didn't help me out at all. So what this does is this helps you end your day on a positive note, you know? Um, and I, and it, she didn't talk about this in here, but I, this is something that I do is that, you know, I come into the bedroom and I plug in my phone and then I'm done with my phone for like 20 minutes before I fall asleep. You know, I usually like, I don't do the same night time routine that I used to do with like my skincare and stuff. I, I need to get back to that because I really enjoyed it when I did that. But I try to take 20 minutes of just kind of laying there and like, you know, thinking positively about my day and all that kind of stuff. So I try to stay off the phone for 20 to 30 minutes. It's recommended. Plus it's a good way for me to um, detach from uh, the rest of the world, you know, and like everything that's going on. I just don't need to be that plugged in. I just don't. Like, that's one of the things I've really realized in the last couple months. 
I don't need to be that plugged in. I just really, really don't, you know? Like, the major things I'll find out about, you know, or I keep myself updated on. But there's so much in this world that, like, five or ten years ago, Tucker is needing so much attention today. Um, five or ten years ago, like, I was so consumed with that I thought, like, I needed to know uh, or keep up with this and keep up with that and keep up. And I'm not talking about the major things, okay? The major things are important. I'm talking about just, like, you know, a reality TV and what happened with this and who married her. And I still enjoy watching reality TV, don't get me wrong, you know? But it's like, who did this and what happened to this? And you know, it's just, it was absolute consumption of negativity and toxicity and chaos. And I, I can't have that in my life today, you know? And um, I need to have peace and serenity. So I try to do that before I go to bed. So anyway, this book has been fa fantastic so far. Fabulous and fantastic for the last two days. Let me know if you guys, oh! My water you jumped right onto my water, Tucker. Um, uh, let me know what you think about uh, the last two days. The next day is, um, I think it's about relationships. It's called Magical Relationships, and you're supposed to read it today going into tomorrow because you have to grab some pictures and things like that. And I think that you write a letter to somebody, or maybe that's down the road, but I remember doing that. I can kind of see how far I went because um, I like dog ear the chapters, so... Anyway, this time I'm keeping in my notebook the dates so I can remember when I look back on this and I reflect on it. Um, especially for my manifestations and dreams, I can see like the dates that I started it on. So at the top I have here, 11, 9, 20. And then on all of my gratitude lists, this is very much like show and tell, isn't it? On the, at the top of all my gratitude lists, I have the date up there as well. So anyway, that's what I'm doing with the book, The Magic. Let me know what you're doing. All right, let's get into... Now, I read the Daily Book of Positive Quotations today. I wasn't completely thrown out by it. And I also read from the 24-hour-a-day book. It's very recovery-based. But I do want to read this part in here. My mom actually had this part underlined, and I really, really liked it. It's November 10th. And I wanted to read from the... So the, this book is split into 12-step thought for the day, meditation for the day. And this is for a specific 12-step program. Uh, meditation for each 12 step program kind of has their own version of this um, meditation for the day and then prayer for the day but I wanted to read the meditation for the day my mom had it um, underlined with red ink and, and uh, asterisk but when I read it I was like this is really a powerful meditation for the day when something happens to upset you and you are discouraged try to feel that life's difficulties and troubles are not intended to arrest your progress progress in the spiritual life but to just test your strength and to increase your determination to keep going. Whatever it is that must be met, you are to either overcome it or use it. Nothing should daunt you for long, nor should any difficulty entirely overcome or conquer you. God's strength will always be there waiting for you to use it. Nothing can be too great to be overcome, or if not overcome, then used. And, you know, I heard that and I thought this whole idea that anything that happens to us in our lives, right, is there simply to be over overcome or used, I was like, this is really, really powerful. Like, I never really thought about it in that context, you know? Like, I love the quote by Maya Angelou that when you're going through a major tragedy in your life, look up and say thank you because you're about to learn one of the most valuable lessons. But I never thought to myself, you know, and I, and I love the Oprah quote, like, turn your wounds into wisdom, but I never thought about it that there were two options, you know? That it's like, in life, if you have a, a faith in a higher power, that the way that you look at it then is to think to ourselves, well, this is either a moment for me to show myself how strong I am to overcome something, or this is a moment for me to use it to turn my wounds into wisdom and help other people down the road, or to use it for something in my life, right? As a learning experience or something like that. And I thought that's really, really powerful. Like that's super powerful. That then when you're looking at things in your life, you don't have to get like all muddled and confused with, well, why is this happening? Or why did this happen to me? Or why did this happen to me? I mean, I think we play the poor me, poor me, poor me, you know, and there's a saying in recovery that's poor me, poor me, poor me another drink, you know? And then I think we get into that self-pity. Well, when we start looking at these things happening to us in our lives, right? As to be something to show us how truly strong we are to overcome it. Or as something to, you know, use in our life to learn from. And those being the only two options when you believe in the faith of a higher power, that's pretty powerful, you know? Like, that is really, really powerful. It's probably one of the most valuable lessons, honestly, that I have learned in, like, the last six months when I was sitting here just reading this today. I was, like, I was outside and I was like, 
And I really had never thought of it that way. That now when any obstacle that I face, it is either this or it is this. And that's really, I can't, I think what like, you know, the faith comes down to is really, it's another language. And, and I'm not talking about religious faith. I'm talking about spiritual faith and faith in whatever you believe deep down inside. It's, and it's like religion, you know, it's like uh, recovery language as well. It's like just another language to look at things that happen to you in your life. I'm not somebody that I want to sit there and I want to complain and look at my life and, and I have, I have been that person, but I don't want to be, you know, be that person that complains and it's like, oh my God, my life is so miserable, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's a downer for everybody else, but most importantly, it's a downer for me, you know, and I'm like really like, have you ever been in that position where you're just complaining about everything in your life and then what you realize is you're really the one that's affecting the most, you know? So then to look at things that happen to us in our lives with grace with absolute grace as, you know, moments to learn or be used or moments to overcome. I like, I love that. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm not going to read any other meditations because I'm already at 11 minutes. So anyway, not that that should matter, but I'm not just, I'm just not going to today. So anyway, um, I love you guys. And I just saw something like run by my backyard out there, but then I realized it was like one of those electrical company flags that's out in the backyard. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.